Hey friends, my name is Jake. Welcome to Canadian Cutting Edge, and it's a bit of a different video today. Uh, do you have knives that you really, really like, but there's a change that you'd want to do to it? And uh, it's a change that you can't really do at home by yourself, but you still would like that knife a whole lot better if it was a little bit different. Well, somebody in Canada can do that for you. And I'm going to tell you about that. Uh, just before that though, just a slight little update. Yeah, my videos are still being spaced apart by a week, sometimes a little bit more than that. I still have stuff going on. Uh, finally have my, you know, uh, chronic pain medication issue is pretty much resolved. It's almost exactly seven months to the, not well, maybe to the day. It's almost exactly seven months since I finally got completely off of uh, prescription painkillers and it's doing me really, really well. But uh, now, you know, medical doctors are kind of strange. They can only focus on one thing at a time, right? At least most of them. They just, it's like they're, they're horses with blinders on. They only think of one thing at a time. So I've had my chronic pain being treated for a long time. And, you know, a couple other issues have come up and stuff. But my wife needed to see a specialist, and I went with her to the appointment. And after he finished talking to her, um, this was, well, for 25 minutes he was talking to her, he looked at me and said, is there anything you want to talk about, Jake? And he accepted me as a patient, even without getting referred by a general practitioner, which in Canada is very rare. It's really hard to see a specialist, it, you know, Sometimes you can ask your doctor several times to get referrals and then you got to wait a long time and stuff. But this guy, he just looked at me and said, I think I can help you. And uh, so, yeah, we're figuring out some other issues that I'm having. Uh, some of the symptoms is uh, fatigue. I'm just tired all the time. And I've got a big job on the go. Uh, when we bought our house, one of the things we liked about it is that it had two bathrooms, Turns out the bathroom downstairs was a rush job that the owner had done to try to make the house more attractive to sell. And uh, it needs to get totally redone. Like, I mean, the tub, uh, not the tub, it was a shower. The shower in there leaked uh, and, you know, just caused problems. So I got to replace a bunch of the drywall, got to replace the entire shower enclosure uh, and I probably have to put in a new vanity in. I've got to put in new flooring. I've got to, you know, like changing drywall. That's a lot of work. And I can only do a little bit at a time. And it gets exhausting. And right now, that's more important for me to get done because I need to get that bathroom completely done before the next time, you know, my grandkids come over for an overnight, you know, because you need two bathrooms when you've got four kids and their parents, plus my wife and I, that many people in a house with just one washroom, it can be done. Don't like to do it that way. <laughs> so, hey, please be patient with uh, with me for the next while, while I try to make videos, as well as do stuff at home. Now, let's go to the tabletop and take a look at what I was talking about, about the knives. Well, let's get on to why I decided to make this video. First off, this is totally my own doing. I paid for the work that I had done on these knives. I'm, this video is not sponsored. I just want to show off what David Mary does. Now, I did a video, I don't know, a month ago, a month and a half ago, about some of the custom knives that David Mary makes. You know, some of the tiny ones that he makes. He also makes huge knives as well, like much bigger than can fit on this screen. But he also does things like regrinding. And here I've got two knives that I had reground. Uh, this was a schnitzel knife. Uh, if you remember, both of these knives were Scandi grinds, the schnitzel and this real steel. And uh, I don't use Scandi grind knives that much anymore. Those of you who know me know that, you know, I've got a mobility, disability, uh, chronic pain, you know, all kinds of issues. I'm not going out, you know, building stuff out of wood that I need a knife for, but, you know, I like knives and I like cutting things and I wanted to get these reground into sort of a flat ground style knife and this is what he specializes in. Now this is called a flat vex. It's not perfectly flat. 
it's actually got a little bit of a concave to it. I don't know if I can show it off here. Let's see if the camera will pick this up or not. But there's just a little bit of, if I can get it to focus right there. I'm trying to get it to focus right in the middle. You know, the blade's got a little bit of a, you know, crown to it. And that's a really, really effective uh, blade shape. It helps slice through things while keeping the uh, blade as strong as possible, while allowing a very thin, almost zero bevel edge. Like there's a very tiny little edge grind on this, other than the main bevel. There's a tiny little edge bevel. And uh, th that's really, really effective. It just cuts really, really well. Uh, on both of these, you can see just a little bit of the Scandi grind left over right there. Uh, this has got a permanently attached handle, so he couldn't really grind too much closer. Uh, this one, you know, I'm sure he took the handle scales off, but, uh, you know, there's just a little bit of that Scandi bevel left there. So if you get this kind of work done, you know, might you might see a tiny bit of something like that off of a Scandi grind. But this knife is just awesome now. It just cuts really well, and I'm very happy with it. Uh, you can get all kinds of work. Uh, for David Mary can do all kinds of work for you. Uh, like this flat vex grind, if you want it thicker at the edge than, you know, super, super thin like this, you know, you just tell him beforehand that that's what you want. He also did some hand modifications. Uh, hopefully I've got some good still pictures that I can show you. Uh, this real steel, you know, it used to have crisp edges on the handle like in the black section here of uh, this G10. And you know, just a little bit hot in the hand, and everything is softened and rounded over. And uh, you know, a lot of guys, you know, don't really want the crisp edges. Uh, some companies will round over everything for you. Now this is slightly rounded over. It's not you know the most comfortable knife, but it's it's a pretty comfortable knife handle. But sometimes you've got crisper edges uh, if it's G10, if it's uh, micarta, if it's wood, whatever he can remedy those handles and just make the knife that much more comfortable in hand. And I really, really like this. You can get, you know, scallops put in for texture if that's what you want, or, you know, a crisscross, whatever. You can get all kinds of modifications done, not only to getting the blades ground, but also to the handles. Uh, pocket knives, you can get those done as well. Um, I'll show you one example that he did. Now the pictures aren't super clear because these are from way back on an iPhone 5 uh, that the pictures are, but uh, the Spyderco Shaman. Now this is one of David Mary's own knives. He didn't really like how it felt in the hand and the stuff and the grind, and so he reground it years ago into basically what is now the Spyderco Bodacious. Now did Spyderco copy David Mary? Or was just David Mary ahead of his time with what he was <laughs> trying to create? So, yeah, all kinds of modifications. If I didn't show this earlier, there you go. Let's see if it'll focus up here. Focus up here. There you go. There's his contact information. You can also find him on Instagram. I'll put that address right down here where my fingers wing link. And uh, contact him, but be prepared ahead of time. Take pictures of what you want. Uh, be able to describe exactly the work that you want done because, you know, this guy's time, just like any other small businessman, his time is precious and he doesn't want to spend, you know, a couple days emailing back and forth and back and forth and back and forth trying to get some details out of you what you want. Know ahead of time what you want. Take pictures of what you want. Uh, hopefully you can even draw on your pictures exactly, you know, the kinds of things you want done and the type of changes you want done so that you can are able to describe to him exactly what you want. And he can make it happen for you. Pocket knives, folding knives, fixed blade knives of any kind of size, changes you want done. The only things that he can't do is, you know, if you like, you know, spider coes, holes and stuff, let's say you wanted a hole in your knife. Now, hardened steel is really hard to drill. It goes through a lot of drill bits, takes a lot of time. You know, so he doesn't put holes into steel for you, but regrinding, reshaping, changing the shape. You know, maybe you want this more of a buoy shape, you know, like this QSP knife. 
Maybe you want a swedge on it or whatever. Now, he's not changed this at all. This is just the way it came from the factory. But why is it so dark? I haven't changed my lighting at all in here. Hmm. I've got some of my focusing issues worked out. And now I, there we go. It's adjusting for the light now. You know, if you want, you know, a big sharpener's soil, generally doesn't do sharpener's soils, but what you want and uh, ask him to do it. One other thing that he does is he can make custom sheets for you, uh, taco style sheets, uh, pancake style sheets, you know, not just Kydex, but he's got uh, whole stacks, he's got Bolteron. Those are all, you know, Kydex-esque but you know, not just technically Kydex that he can do stuff for you. So let's say you've got one of your really nice knives and you either lost the sheath or you know, it's a leather sheath and you want something you know, thinner, some Kydex, you know, something different. You know, send him the knife. The only thing is, if you are outside of Canada and you want him to change the profile of a folding knife blade, you need to be able to take that knife apart because getting knives, folding knives shipped into Canada can sometimes be tricky. And uh, if you only send in the blade, that works just fine. I've had a guy that, in case you guys aren't familiar with me, I do knife reviews of all kinds of different folding knives, mostly folding knives. And I buy knives mostly in the United States. And I have a guy take the knives apart and mail the blades and the handles separately to me in different packages. And uh, they get through every time, even if they're inspected, they still get through every single time. But if they're together, if it's an intact folding knife, then there's chances that the Canada Border Services Agency won't let them across the border. So only the knives, you know, take off your thumb studs because those are going to get in the way of regrinding and stuff. And uh, just send in the knife blade itself. Cheaper to mail and it's more convenient and you can send it in. So, David Mary Custom, you will get, if you do get a blade regrind, it's going to have his badging put on there. It says DM regrind, and uh, it's nice. I am very, very happy with what these are. There's no standard pricing for anything because every job is a custom job. So you got to contact David Mary. If you want to get a custom knife made from scratch, he'll do that for you too. All different kinds of steels, not all, many different kinds of steels to choose from, and uh, any, pretty much any kind of blade shape that you want done. Uh, just contact them and uh, start that conversation. Just remember, custom work doesn't come instantaneously. It's going to take some time for it to happen. Just be patient, and you're going to get the knife of your dreams. Thanks for watching, thanks to my supporters, thanks for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing, and remember friends, cut towards your chum, not your thumb.